I'm Van. I'm sorry. That's Lobby. It's salty and Chip. Word to our sponsors. You, you know what's really interesting to me? I have no idea what he's going to say right now, but I'm <laughs> anxiously awaiting. What, babe? So there we are in the mall, getting the iPad. Yeah. I look at my thing. I see this thing that says, uh, oh, are you going to respond to what I said? Or is being a YouTube star more important than another Christian? The day before, we got this gigantic gift. It was, it was heavy, this major box. And the guy said... A lot of thought went into it, too. A ton of thought. Um, I'm not going to say who, because he he um, he banned me from saying his name. But, yep. but he custom made me these guitar picks, because he saw that I like playing with jazz picks instead of... Um, oh, they're right here. Uh, he, he, yeah, my little pouch. <laughs> he saw that I like playing with jazz picks instead of, you know, the regular mm -hmm. the regular picks. And uh, so he made me a whole slew of them. Each of them takes 45 minutes to make. Each of them takes 45 minutes to make. Um, so here's one. And those are all I've been playing with for the last, you know, uh -huh. whatever. Um, and the only thing that he said to me was... Oh, make sorry, guys. <laughs> Out of focus back on. The only thing he said to me was, to us, was make sure that you don't mention my name at all in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. I don't want any credit for it. So I kind of even feel funny talking about what he did. Right. And so as Sori's opening this, I guarantee you this guy's an atheist. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you. Sure enough. Yep. It's the atheist. It's always the atheists who reach out to us and say, hey, I know you're probably not going to see this because you're busy, but if you have the chance, da 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 very polite, very respectful, very aware that, you know, we got a ton of things going on. Mm -hmm. And they have no expectation or entitlement. Mm -hmm. And they're always the, the, the most nicest, thoughtful, considerate people. Uh, am, 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 is this hyperbolic? No, it's, it's true. I mean... Now, do we get in a jihads with our atheist we friends? We do have... Absolutely. I, I don't know... <clears throat> I don't know if we're supposed to say... We have somebody that's helping us with our YouTube... Um, like adding cards and stuff. I, I don't know what, what her belief system is. But we do have somebody else that's helping us that would consider themselves a Christian. Right. right? That's one out of 60,000. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's not it's not completely a no, fail. No, no, look, look. This is not about pass fail or anything. But, it, but there's an overwhelming amount of atheists that are that take all the pressure off us. And it does seem to be that the people that are Christians apply all kinds of pressure. And there's all this angry and anger. Have... Sense of entitlement. Yeah, sense, sense of entitlement. Sense of we owe them access to us and all yeah, those type of things. Yeah. And our atheist friends who've literally, like, spoken with their wallet about how much they love what we're yeah. trying to accomplish, even though they always say, I don't agree with this, this, and that. Yep. I don't know what Dan is, I was going to even say, and literally give you the shirt um, off their back. Dan, Dan, <laughs> Dan's one of us. Like, this is not to dis... Well, okay, we got some. This is not to dis Christians. It, it's just, we got to... <laughs> when, when I say, uh, this is for, for both atheists and Christians, when, when we say that we believe that people are saved not because they're good people, but just because of God's mercy... I told Sorry before the <laughs> camera came on. For Christians, it has become is, abundantly clear. This is why. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious that if 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 being in good standing with God had to do with being a good person, yeah. Uh, by the human definition of good, the atheists have us beat ten to one. Why? Why? Why well, are I mean, the atheists God, so nice and the Christians so pushy? Well, I mean, Christianity is based on the fact that that uh, you're you're a terrible person. Yeah. So Christianity is for bad people. <laughs> 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 of yeah. which I am the worst. Is yeah. The, but we're all says. bad. Like, yeah. why is it that? I, I. I. What is it about being a Christian that makes people get so entitled and pushy and? It's a very strange phenomenon. Anyway, uh, back <laughs> to our... Shout out to our atheist friends. <laughs> yeah, back to our regular scheduled program already in progress. Yep. Uh, uh, this is Roots, Bloody Roots by Sepultura. Let's do it. God almighty. Step it up, y'all. <laughs> Still my brother and sister, though, but good lord. <laughs> Go.
It's a quintessential new metal song. Quintessential? That, that's like the essence of new metal. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Three and a half minutes. Oh. You know. Da -da, yeah. You know, one main riff, down tune. Oh, beat. I usually like. Don't I usually like new metal? Mm, it's hit or miss with you. Okay, this one's kind of eh for me. It's okay. I like. I, I mean. I, but yeah, it seemed a bit repetitive. That was the thing that I was kind of. Well, I mean, that's, to that's me. new metal. Yeah. Uh, it's 1990, 1996, I think this was. Okay. Um, Sepultura, yeah. It sounded to me at the beginning um, that we were talking about, you know, like somebody returning to who, like their actual roots. Right. Um, but right. then at the end, it was like, um, it sounded like, like it was actually something like, I don't know, I pray we don't need to change our ways to be saved. That's all we want to be to watch us freak. What did it mean to be saved? What kind of saved? Like religiously saved? I'm assuming. I mean, so that's, that that's was Christian kind of threw me off a little I think bit. He's Brazilian. He's some Latin American. Yeah. Uh, Max Calavalera is the guy's name. I think he Brazilian. Pretty sure he's Brazilian. So there's a strong Catholic Christian influence there. So, uh -huh. but I think historically the, um, you know. It was, oh, you native people, you need to change your ways because yeah. your oh, cultural yeah. markers Terrible. are what define your Christianity. So yeah. he's saying, if that's what, I mean, it's it's tough for me to, to get the entire intention of the song from this one line. Yeah. We don't need to change our ways to be saved. Yeah. But if you go from the premise of, um, especially you use the term bloody roots, it's mm -hmm. interesting. Well, yeah, I was thinking about all the what? blood that's in the history of so many people. Well, yeah, like if you and look how, at the- And what destroyed their roots a lot the of times is blood. Christianity came with yeah. with blood, yeah. but also blood is sort of the, the central focus of Christianity. Yep. And so, yep. I I don't know enough historically about Brazil or or this man per se, but <laughs> that, that line is uh, very interesting because if you combine that with the, um, Johan, you're on red! 1045. If you combine that, um, with, uh, the title, mm -hmm. so I believe in our fi fate, we don't need to be fake, right? And then, yeah. and then if you go skip down and say we don't need to change our ways to be saved, so it's like, we can be acceptable to God or acceptable to ourselves by being who we are. Watch me freak. Uh -huh. We're growing every day, getting stronger in every way. I'll take you to a place where we shall find our roots, bloody roots. Uh -huh. Rain, bring me the strength to get another day. And I want, and all I want to see set us free. Why can't you see? Why can't you feel this is real? So it's like, it's, a, it's about being able to accept yourself for who you are. Accept yourself or your people. Well, again, <clears throat> as a collectivist, I don't really see much difference between yourself and your people. Because if you're from a, which you won't be able to relate to it, but if you are from a culture where another culture came and said you have to deny who your culture is in order to be right or acceptable, then there is no difference. There's no distinction. Yeah. So a lot of people's, quote, individuality comes from their culture. Mm-hmm. To what you wear, there's a reason you're wearing the clothes that you're wearing right mm -hmm. now. You know, there's a reason you're not wearing a hijab, for example. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So, so yeah. there, there, there's very, very little difference between the culture and the individual. Okay. So if you have an, if you have a rival culture coming in and saying you need to change your ways to be saved, right? Well, I thought, it, yeah. But it, and he says, no, this is all we want to be. Watch us free. Well, why do you think he said, I pray that we don't have to? To me, that sounded kind of sad, like. Like, he's hoping that they don't have to. But then, I pray we don't have to change to, to our ways to be saved. Then it says, that's all we want to be. Watch us freak. Then it sounds like if they flip. Like, at one time, they're like, oh, like, I, I hope that we, you know, I'm praying that we don't have to change our ways. And then, I, then like, in the next breath, he's saying, you know what? Like, we like our ways. Watch us freak. Well, I think what he's saying is, we're not going to change. So, if we have to oh, change our ways to be we're saved, then we're saved. fucked. We're not going to be saved. Then. Right. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Right. And, and it, it's really interesting because when Christianity first started, 
it was a completely Jewish religion. Mm -hmm. And then you had all these outside non-Jewish people wanting to join. And the mm -hmm. first controversy was, well, do these non-Jewish people have to take on Jewish identity? Do they have to be circumcised? Do they have to stop eating certain foods? Do they mm -hmm. have to observe the Sabbath and yada, yada, yada? Mm -hmm. And the initial idea of the church, much to the chagrin of the Jewish people, was no. Mm -hmm. They can be them as themselves with their own cultural markers. Right. Um, Which is different than how it was like in the Old Testament because to be part of Israel you had to take on the Israelite way of thinking. Yeah, it was a completely ethnocentric. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, so... That's true. And over the years you would think they, they would get, just naturally because you're human beings, you're going to get prideful. You know, like we have the superior way and then people have to conform to our ways to get close to Yahweh. And then all of a sudden the New Testament comes along and no, they can stay in their culture. It's just well, following Jesus. Yeah, I mean, some of it might have been ethnocentric pride, but some of it was, if you're not circumcised, you're not in the covenant. And mm -hmm. if you're not circumcised, you're cut off from your people. That's not pride, that's a theological statement. Yeah, no, I get that, but I think that just naturally speaking as a human being, you would get ethnocentric from that way of thinking, like over time because we're humans like you know when people are in places of authority it automatically is going to eventually go to bad because or the tickers the ticker is set to bad for all of us so if you're if you know that you're and look at look at how a lot of the jews like they felt they felt very superior over other people and that's why they, they had some of the conversations that they had with jesus you know they felt that like they were better than the samaritans they thought that they were better you know what i mean yeah, but what I'm saying is the the issues that were brought up in the New Testament after the resurrection were not racial; they were theological, like oh, circumcision or keeping the Sabbath. These oh. are all things that marked you, because even a non even a non Israelite could could be in covenant in the Old Testament. It wasn't like you couldn't be in you, you had Hittites in in, yeah, in the covenant, yeah. community, but they had to be circumcised right. and observe the Sabbath. Right. So what's happening in Christianity is like you're 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 not only making sociological statements, you're making theological statements about who is acceptable to God and who isn't. Mm -hmm. And so in the, at the beginning it was like, well, of course you have to follow Judaism and all that, and then and then God says, no, let them be who they are. That must let have been them, so hard for the Jews. Well, yeah, let them <laughs> eat what they eat. Let them yeah. worship whatever day they want. Leave them alone yeah. as long as they they understand that Jesus lived and died and rose for them. I mean that that's. You know, it's 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 very it's it's something that's really really unique about Christianity, and and it's interesting because that standard is almost to your point impossible to keep, because the people it, it's interesting here you have like Europeans mm -hmm. who are not not Jews mm -hmm. who were allowed to exercise Christianity in their own European version, now going and telling other people that their sociological markers. Are what's definitive. That's of crazy. So yeah, that's true. So it's it's just it's this really strange. Yeah. Very very strange uh, thing, but <laughs> you're, it's like. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It it kind of okay. reminds me of that parable. You remember the parable that Jesus told about like the what? There's one guy, like guy A, he owes. What? Why are you tapping on me? Because you keep going outside of the video. <laughs> And then, and then you keep accusing. I thought, I thought we were well, outside. when you start talking, and then you lean this way, yeah, and you that's start looking. Yeah, that's because I want to look at you. Well, I understand that, but then when you're when you're out of the video, then you accuse me of, okay, of whatever. Just, so I was like trying to subtly. Back. No, I'm not going to lean. I'm not going to do that either. You're moving yourself yeah, out of the frame. Yeah, because I want to face you. I want to look at right. you. Right. All I'm saying is, I was subtly trying to get you. It feels weird to like do like I this. I was subtly trying to get you back <laughs> into the frame. There's no subtlety to me. I thought we were out of time. I'm I know, like, man, yeah, it feels yeah. like it's only it's been a couple like minutes. It's just like that Homer Simpson thing. <laughs> oh, they, stop it! When they try to put him in the witness protection <laughs> oh, program. Oh man, you're so mean. <laughs> I kept blinking him. <laughs> Mr. Thompson. Stop it! Stop that right now. Okay, so this person, person A own like owes somebody money How do, I, i'm trying to i always like mix up the story well, yeah, he goes story. to the king and he says hey man look and, and the king's like oh, well, oh you're fucked king, you're gonna yeah. have to sell your family into slavery and shit and the guy goes no no no, i don't want to do that like just give me time and i'll pay it off the guy owed like a million dollars there's no way he's gonna be able to pay it off right so the king goes you know what forget, you know what? You're, forget good. It. you're good but then he goes because somebody guy else owed him owes him cents. money yeah, somebody owes him like a quarter, and he goes and he like puts his hands and he chokes him and stuff, and he's like, "Get me my money!" Yeah. Well, somebody sees this whole thing happening, and they go back and they tell the king. So the king calls him in, throws him in jail, and says, "You know what? You're staying in jail until you pay down to the last penny." Right. 
So it kind of reminds me of like that story, like here you are, you've been like, you don't have to follow the Jewish ways, you just have to follow Jesus. Right. And like you can keep your culture and then they go and they like choke the rest of the yeah, world and then with they their go culture. To, yeah, they go to the, the, the native, the filthy yeah. native and tell the filthy savage native that yeah. he's got to cut his hair and dress a certain way yeah. and blah, 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 yeah. blah. Or even the subculture of metalheads. They're like, there's so many people that, that, um, have told me that just because they were a metalhead, yeah, which is a cultural marker, Christians have told them, no, you have to change your ways to be. Yeah, saved. yeah, like lots of people, mad people, been saying it. And of course, you know, all the metalheads that we have met, the people that we described at the introduction, which is interesting because we didn't know where the lyrics of this song. <laughs> right. <laughs> there's a lot of shit that they don't have to change. <laughs> Yeah. Like being the kind, generous, yeah. giving. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even I don't even know if that guy knew it or not, but his desire to not be recognized is a is a is a principle of, of it is. Jesus in yep. the Sermon on the Mount. And Actually, the way it all played itself out, like you're not supposed to go out ringing a bell saying, "Oh, look at how awesome right, person right, right, I am." Right, right. You're supposed to let somebody else do it, right. and that's what happened. Like you honored him, even though you didn't say his name because he asked you not to. But well, yeah. So it's like it's like. But, you know, I've talked to you about this, like, the, the, the bar of what makes a person acceptable to God mm -hmm. in the New Testament is actually extremely low. And and a lot of people, like, have a real problem with that, especially religious people. And they want to add all of these other things, mm -hmm. all these cultural markers to, to mm -hmm. instead of just the raw, the person wants God. And to whatever view yeah. they want God, they'll have it. You know? So, yeah. so... It, it is it is interesting like the history of Christianity and, mm -hmm. and like stealing people's roots from you know just digging them up for you know whatever it's yeah. unbelievable yeah I wonder why they started doing that like aside from just the sin nature like where did this What's just something wrong with white people <laughs> babe I'm, I'm fucking how could you even <laughs> my word but y'all have wreaked some havoc over the last 500 years Okay, go, shout to, out to, go the, to no. Shout out to the big no, homie Farrakhan. You can't say that because you can go. It's black on black crime everywhere, not just in America, but even into the jungles and all that. You, you, your people are all massacring each other. I believe cannibalism was invented. Who was, fuck, by who, who was fucking shit up in World War Two? Look, I think that we just need to establish that all people everywhere have sin, <laughs> sin in their hearts and they want to do bad things. I don't think that we can point to a particular. We place. have found them. Unkind and disagreeable to live in peace, isn't that what? Disagreeable. <laughs> Shout out to the big homie. <laughs> Farrakhan, Was it Farrakhan? Yeah, yeah. It's Farrakhan and uh, Khalid Muhammad. You haven't been putting him on for a little bit. Well, I, I'm listening to the not, Mormon yet, stuff now. By the way, if you fight a Mormon, uh, let me know. We got to talk. I got some questions for you. You should try right. to talk to that. Um, but Goku or Yaku? Goku. Goku. <laughs> his name is Quaco. Stuck for a long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first person that I uh, I, I, I met was uh, that told me that that used that word was my little uh, cousin Ijaz. What do you say? What do you mean? Her dad was the Nation of Islam. Yeah. And she was like, uh, goes hanging around with this this white girl. She's like, why are you hanging out with this white girl? I'm like, she's my friend, and she was my friend. There was nothing, and she's like, they're disagreeable. <laughs> <laughs> she was like six. Uh, like, what the fuck? What do you know about disagreeable? She's my friend. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck are you? She's like, they're disagreeable to live within peace. <laughs> she said that whole thing? Yeah, she said disagreeable to live within peace. I'm like, I don't know. We have a lot of fun. Her name was Casey. <laughs> She's a nice girl. Very dirty, very dirty little girl, but she was nice. <laughs> I was like, disagreeable. I said, hey, Ma, what does disagreeable mean? She said, what? I want that. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> I had to find in the dictionary. I was like, shit, it's a fucking real word. And then I was mad because she knew a word I didn't. Oh, I thought you were going to be mad because she was insulting your white friend. No, no. I wasn't mad about that. She insulted... She, oh, it's just she knew more to you. live with a beast. <laughs> and what did he say? Everywhere they have gone on the earth, oh, they have my God. raised hell. <laughs> of all, on all he the didn't. peoples of he the world. It. My man, uh, Khalid Muhammad, his is, uh, head was all shiny and shit because yeah. the, the studio light was bouncing off and he was all sweaty because he was so angry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Disagreeable woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that you're. We're both disagreeable at times. <coughs> nah. I do think you don't think you're disagreeable. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, my, you my, are completely delusional. My my people are com are, are completely agreeable to live within peace. Really? Black, pe black people have never raised hell on earth. <laughs> 
You should hire a bunch of <laughs> black people at your job then. Please, if we step foot in Chicago, we step foot in Chicago, we never make it out alive. <laughs> True. Oh my god. That's so weird. Huh? I I will never understand it's human nature, your man. people doing that. I will never understand Maybe it. My people doing that. Like like white people, I don't feel like they do that to the. I feel like that we like have. White people don't do I that. don't feel like they do that to the degree that you All guys. All violent like, crime is regional. I know, but it just feels like you guys are like. What the fuck together. was the civil because war? You guys are like small. What was the civil war? You guys are. I'll just talk to them because you're just interrupting me. You guys are small in number, so you think that you guys would stick together. What was the civil war? That's not white on white crime. Well, sure, it was. What was World War Two? Is that what? Yeah, white no, crime? I get that, but I'm saying what the fuck like, are you but that's about? a war. I'm saying just like just day to day, you guys will go after each other. I I could. Well, there's a war in Chicago, so then that makes it okay. Babe. No, I'm serious. Serious question. So you guys kill a hundred million of each other. Well, that's a war. But then there's something particularly wrong no, with black I'm people for killing each other. I think. <clears throat> let me tell you. I think that if we made up whatever 12 percent of the population. I don't think that we would go after each other. I feel like we would be like, wait. What evidence do you have of that? Did the think, 20th century demonstrate that? Because I think that we're racist. Can you answer my question? Can you let me answer Black what people you are just racist asked too. me? Yeah, but that's, why you, guys should, to live with that's why you guys should not kill each other. You guys should want to get more of you in here. Well, you, white people are racist too. Why do they kill each other? Well, I think that there's so many we take it for granted. I think that if we were... A, I think that if we were small in population, then I don't think that we would take that for granted. Because y'all are just smarter than us. I think that we would want to, y'all to, to rule again. Because y'all are just more intelligent. I think we would want to be in power again. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's ridiculous. Well, you can think it's ridiculous. I just don't think we would do such a thing. So, the Civil War where you killed 600,000 of each other. I think the reason each, that you so guys six, are all killed Are you going to answer my question? What's your question? You killed 600,000 of each other in the Civil War. Yeah. Was that white or white crime? Yeah. Well, sure. You can call it that. But we didn't have like a... Uh, <laughs> we didn't have like. Okay, you killed two hundred million. Stop! Of each other let me in, finish my sentence. In world, in we the 20th didn't century. have. We have so many white people that we take it. We take it for granted that we're surrounded by white people. I think that if the majority <laughs> of people around us were black, I don't think that we would go after white people that much. I think the reason that you guys go if, after if, each other is because of the stuff that was dropped dropped into your community, the drugs. And who the did that? Things. The white people. But I'm just the saying. The devil who's disagreed with the living in peace. <laughs> Then why did you marry me? I'm trying to redeem you. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> They'd kick you right out of their I, services. No, they wouldn't. I would. I, this is this is the way I could dominate. We could dominate. We can co-opt you if we ever have a kid. He'll be black. <laughs> <laughs> I just combine that with some Hebrew Israelite. What would you do? It. <laughs> <laughs> then my kid would be an Israelite, and you you would still be a pagan. Oh my gosh. Listen to this man. <laughs> and you're saying all this stuff when you do know the majority of our constituency is, is white. Everybody's going to side with Anything me. Anything I say, the majority of the constituency are going to be white. I'm in America. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, why are you guys going after each other? You guys should just, you know what you should do? Uh, choose love, not war, and populate the planet with a bunch of brown babies. You're ridiculous. What? <laughs> All violent crime is regional, so this idea of black on black crime is a myth. Yeah, I don't even know. What oh. I don't even know what you mean when you say regional. Can you just meaning the people that you're going to commit violence against? You're not going to go on a fucking in your car and go to the next county to commit acts of violence, right? Yeah. You're going to commit acts of violence in your local community. Okay, so then if all black people live around each other, who's going to commit the crimes? Black people. Okay, so it would be black on black crime. So when a white dude goes and commits a crime, is that white on white crime? <laughs> all the shit that's happening outside right now, is that white on white crime? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but you never call it that. No, I don't. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I had another question that was like... That I the 20th century was a, was, a, was a wonderful example of uh, white on white crime, but you just summarily dismissed yeah, that because, because it was a war. Yeah, that's different. You guys should band together. There was a you question guys. that I had. Yeah, oh. you should. Okay. What? I would. I would stop killing my people and I'd try to figure out a way to, like, <laughs> <laughs> to get in power again. That, right. I understand because that's in your veins. It's just <laughs> in power. That those are your roots. Stop it. You don't even my know what my roots be, are. My roots, would be, my roots are to be communal and live together agreeably in peace. You would too. Those are my roots. You would too. There you go. Look at you. You weren't always like that. No, I wasn't. <laughs> so that's when I was under the command of so white you people. You were less agreeable. Than who was the commander? Was white guy? Who, who was the? Who was the? Who, who was the? Uh, so in who your was, who was the agency chief? Was white guy? 
fine, whatever. Disagreeable little in your in your little crew when you were a teenager. What what then? All the what people. What about it? All the people. What about you were my crew? Did you go after a lot of white? People? I didn't go after anybody. We never went after anyone. I was not a gangbanger. I was not a gangster. Okay, so the people that came after you that you would have. Uh, the people that came after disagreements, disagreeable the disagreements. Came, the, with. the people that came after me were local people. What? What? What did they look like? I just explained that to you. <laughs> the people that came after me were local people. I'm just saying, right? like I was surrounded by a bunch of white people, and we didn't fight like that. You lived in the fucking suburbs. <laughs> so did you live in Lewiston? Did your mom? Did your mom have you in downtown Lewiston? No. This How come? <laughs> Answer the uh, question. Because we were busy. This was before the we Somalis. Were busy in this was before the Somalis immigrated. <laughs> Honey, well, whoa, 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 answer the question. <laughs> Why didn't your mom have you down there in downtown Lewis and we, a bunch of nice white people? What happened? We were busy in Auburn. Because they were disagreeable to live with in peace. Honestly, do uh, sure. Was there is is there the same amount? So you're saying there's the same amount of crime? If you look at this is an honest question, okay? Look at me when I speak it to you. <laughs> um. Honest question. If you look at the percentage that there are of black people, you make up 12% of the population, and then the violence that's that takes place within your within your race, or I don't know what you want to call it, and then you look at the the percentage of white people and the violence that happens, you know, white on white, is there more violence within your community than within ours? I know like ours we have a bigger number, but if you, you There know are what more saying? there are more convictions. No, which, I'm not talking about convictions. Well well Because that's on. not fair. Because we all know that white people get off more than black people do. Okay, so then the, I would answer your question and say they're equivalent. Because it's human nature. There's nothing particularly about black people that makes us more violent. But I thought that like we try to drop things into your community to make you more you, so. You did. That's a that's a, that's so that's an above board. Be. That's an above board CIA operation. Y'all would introduced you? that into the. Uh... Can you, what's the name of it so people don't believe you? I don't care if they don't believe me. Well, no, so they can look it up themselves. Yeah, the, uh, the big homie, Jamar L. Thomas, tried to tell me that uh, that human life beginning at conception was a religious idea. Yeah. And then I quoted to him actual scientists. He said he disagreed. I said, well, quote, you're a scientist. None. I don't care if people agree with me or not. You disagree? All I care about is facts, yeah. I said, no, nah, buddy, you have the... You have the uh... So your people are disagreeable. Well, he's influenced <laughs> by other people. That's not the nature he was born with. <laughs> It's a Farrakhan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair, Like, sometimes I look at Farrakhan, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you don't really... Like, he believes that black people are just, like, born pure, and anything that they do wrong is because of white people. Oh, I used to kind of... But you like believe that... Uh, you believe that the other way. Like, you, you think that there's something, like, particularly wrong with black people where they're just dumb and just kill each other for no reason. Uh, no, But I that think... white people, if they were in the same situation, would be smart enough to realize that they need to band together. That's basically what you just said. No, I do think that. I yeah, do, okay. I do <laughs> think, you're racist okay, as hell. So I do think that because we've been in a position of power, that if we all of a sudden found ourselves not in that position of power, I don't think that we would kill each other. I think we would try to find ways to get back in that position of power. That's my thoughts. So you... you <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Oh. You, and Jordan, you and Jordan Peterson, Sam Harris, I like the Jets. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, your roots are to be a racist bastard. <laughs> those, are, those are your what? Bloody, those are your bloody roots, and my roots are to be the uh, the original man and the teacher of humanity. Oh my word! Is that what Lord Jamar said? Wow. Okay. If you want to speak to the God, Lord that, Jamar, <laughs> I'm the God. If you want to speak to the God, that guy's hilarious. I know we haven't watched him in a while. No, we, we haven't. Watched him yeah, you need to put him on. <laughs> We, we probably lost 58,000 subs now. Oh. We're back to like 200. What's up, Leah? <laughs> <laughs> Tina, how's it going, Tony? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, wasn't there... We'll do that in the main stage. What, show. main tweet? Yeah, all right. All right, what do you give the song? Eight? It's a six for me. I mean, I'd give it a ten because I enjoyed this conversation, but probably an eight. It's a six for me. I mean, yeah, man bag of shells. I hate how your scores influence me. But they do, like... I did think that this one was pretty boring. I'm going with a seven. All right. Seven. Final answer, seven. Then out. Sorry, out. She's racist as hell. Go! <laughs> Don't touch me. 